DangerousTrailers.org and StolenTrailers.org. Boy Scout shocked at their theft of trailer. I'm shocked that we have so many stupid leaders in the Boy Scouts. I think it's a scam because over 800 have been stolen in the past four years like this in America. I think it's a scam because they, <coughs> like the people from New Jersey who had the GoFundMe account for the homeless vet, you know, 400 grand. What better way to raise money for a new trailer? They don't register a trailer in Tennessee. They do not secure their trailers because they want the trailers to be stolen. That's the only plausible explanation. So just go to Google and type in stolen trailer. In fact, you know what? I, I got it better yet. Type in dangerous. Trailers, stolen, boy, scout, and, and all, okay? There we are right there. Scott Coleman, scout leader. Trailers are the most often things stolen on wheels. Boy Scout CEO makes $1.6 million a year. Fundraiser by GoFundMe account. Do you see the problem here? Now let's go ahead and do my navigation. This is my navigation. Boy Scout CEO makes... A 1.6 million a year, and he can't give us any money to help us prevent his trailers. Oh, I'm sorry, his organization's trailers from being stolen. Go ahead and click it. Right here. You see how it is? What they do? Okay. Okay, so let's go take a look on what another, sorry to say this, stupid Boy Scout troop. It's like having a house get robbed and leaving it open to get robbed again. Cookware and thousands of dollars worth of equipment yeah. gone. Right, I know it's gone. All stolen from a local Boy Scout trailer right. in Mount Juliet Monday night. This is Kim Wynn has more on what was stolen and the impact this may have on the group. <sighs> It's our fault. The scoutmaster says this is disturbing on many levels. Not only did they lose all their camping gear, but of all the places where this could have happened, their trailer was stolen in the parking lot of a church. It always happens. Shocked, surprised. Those were just a few of the words scoutmaster Terry Luckett could come up with. Disbelief. After pulling into the parking lot of St. Right. Stephen Catholic Community on Tuesday right. and seeing nothing there but these bricks. And I see that one of the trailers are gone. A trailer belonging to Boy Scout Troop 1204, filled with camping gear for 40 to 60 Boy Scouts, had been stolen. Right. You know, you have to be pretty desperate to do that kind of stuff. It happens all Thousands across the country. Worth of equipment. They don't we register trailers in Tennessee. Stoves, lanterns, cooking utensils, pots, pans. Will now have to be replaced. A right. huge blow to the group, which goes camping about once a month. Camping is what the Boy Scouts do, so... It's going to be hard to do that now without that gear. Luckett says the troop kept the trailer parked in the same spot at the church for years right. and always kept it locked. It doesn't no make they cut the lock in 30 made. seconds. The scoutmaster says whoever stole the trailer stole from kids who probably could have helped them if they were in need. Well, if somebody came well I'm sorry. Um, you, you're stealing from me and my family because I'm spending money trying to educate people unfunded about how to prevent your trailers from being stolen and I can't afford to put my Christmas lights up this year. Why, why, why is that? Came up and said, you know, I need some help. If we can't personally help them, we'll point them in the right direction. Some scouts say losing all their equipment hurt, but even so, they plan on moving forward. It definitely hit me hard because we oh. use that stuff Andrew. pretty often and we'll have to do... Andrew! Andrew! I've been talking about this for 11 years, Andrew. Fundraising to replace it. It has a lot of value to us. Luckily, the Scoutmaster says they don't have any major camping trips coming up. Anyone with information is asked to call Mount Juliet Police. I have. In Mount Juliet, Kim Wynn, News 2. So, how many more have to happen? How we'll many more have to be trailers have to happen before they listen to DangerousTrailers.org. So like, before I go, just type in Google. Here, type in Google. Type in Dangerous Trailers Hamster Wheel. Go ahead, click it. The hamster wheels are government. Right there. 
So let's take a look about stolen trailers. Seriously. And this is about people who are killed by RVs, loose trailers. Um, here we go. The never-ending wheel. 12 states have no registration, including Tennessee. 38 allow people to register stolen trailers as a homemade trailer. Oh, my God. Boy Scouts, church groups, nonprofits, they're devastated. They start GoFundMe accounts. Facebook debate and media coverage. Then everyone forgets. Trailers are the most often thing stolen on wheels. The business owners, Boy Scouts, church groups, and others forget and suffer tremendous losses. The Congress does nothing, and local leaders do the same. I know. Let's put a red solo cup, and then maybe a punch bowl, and maybe Brett Kavanaugh's yearbook in a trailer. Maybe then we'll get some action. Then the crickets chirp, and then it happens again. DangerousTrailers.org. StolenTrailers.org.